Hi everyone, December has officially started and it's time for baking and cooking and partying. So let's start off this December with a fruit sponge cake or a sponge fruit cake. You all are going to love this one. It's so delicious and it's a little bit different from the regular fruit cake we're accustomed to. So let's start off this recipe by creaming our butter and our sugar. I like my butt to be somewhat very soft so that it helps it to cream faster. And we're going to cream this until it's light and fluffy and pale yellow in color. See how beautiful that looks? And you want your beater to be on a really fast speed also. Scrape down the sides of your bowl because sometimes the sugar tends to stay on the top. You just want to mix that in. And then we'll add in our eggs one at a time. I'm using three small eggs. Add the first, mix that in. Once it's completely mixed in, then you'll go in with the second and the third egg. If you're using large eggs, I suggest using two of these. Now once you mix it pretty well and it comes together, we'll add in our vanilla. Just look how perfect that looks. So going with vanilla or any type of essence you would like. If you're using the extract, you would use less. I'm adding in whole milk. If you wanted to use a fruit juice instead, you can. And we're just gonna mix this to bring it together. Now I'm going to go in with my cake spice into my flour and baking powder and I'm going to sift this you really want to sift it so you get a really nice light airy sponge cake and this recipe works great on its own without the fruits to give you a really delicious sponge cake you're going to mix this until it comes together you don't want to over mix the cake batter so once it comes together, stop, and now we'll add in the mix peel. Now this is called holiday fruits here in the US, and it's a lot more wet. So try and don't use um, mix peel that is really, really dry. If it's dry, soak it for about an hour before using it. Then pour it into your grease and floured pan. This is a 10 by 10 square pan. You can use a round tin, or you can make it into a loaf pan if you wanted to this would give you one nice big loaf and you bake this at 325 for 45 minutes or until a toothpick comes all clean and when it's done allow it to cool before cutting into it yes the edges got a little brown and i notice anytime i bake in this pan that happens so i just cut off the edge and then it was time to enjoy look at that so crumbly so moist so perfect so try this, let me know what you think, and happy holidays!